Hello friends, this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video is continu continuation of my previous video there we have started exploring how to perform current operation using prepare statement. So I was I was here uh, just I was about to complete the get employee ID get employee by ID API. So here we have used uh, select operation with placeholder and here in while loop what i was trying to do basically so here basically instead of while loop we can use if block as well right you can if if block because we know that we are selecting employee based on the id so only one record is coming so you can apply if record if uh, condition as well so here just what i'm trying to do i'm just extracting results from the end result set and uh, just uh, trying to set into the employee uh, object and same will return to the caller so let's set uh, like email right so i have set bonus date email let's set another properties as well so employee id so that is the emp id and anything else let's salary let's set salary as well sorry Set salary so we have set values for all instead of printing what I'll do I will return to the client the same object employee right so almost this API is done okay uh, e name I haven't set it so okay let me set employee name as well so employee sorry employee dot set employee name and here I have said it e name it is nothing but the employee name now so almost done let's test it from the client program so this is this code was to create an employee right so what I'll do I'll comment this calling part and I'll call a get employee by ID an ID I'm gonna pass like if you look into the database if you refresh the database so just ID with 4 I'm trying to fetch so this input you can take from the keyboard as well just I'm hard coding over here so this guy is going to return us employee object and here if uh, I'll check if employee not equal to null then just i'll print the employee information so i would say employee two and let's uh, override the two string method in this model class so here i'll go and right click over here go to the source and override two string method so that object of a state will be printed in the nice format okay and else if this caller is going to return you uh, null then we'll print something a message you call employee employee sorry employee does not exist right so what I'll do I'll refactor this code so I'll copy, the, uh, I'll select this code to go to the refactor extract method. I would say get employee by ID. And this will change into the private method. So this we are getting, we are just calling this method from main method. And this invoke the method which is available in the DAW class. And this will return the employee information. So if I run, then saying that employee does not exist okay so table no name we have written wrong so tip employee underscore uh, table we have table name so let's run, run it again so, saying that date of joining okay so again column name mistake so this is date of joining right several mistake 
now we get the uh, employee information right so employee whose id is 4 is nothing but the sam so sam information get you fetched from the database and we got it the same right so this is how to uh, get employee based on the id right so this was the second api in this class so that we have completed third api update how to perform updation so updation is just similar to the create so just i'm going to copy this code and i'll paste it over here and little change in this query so i would say here we'll have to write so here already update query i have i have written so let's write this update query itself here and this is our update query but this query we were written for the uh, uh, statement right so but now we are using prepare statement so we need to use instead of hard coded sql we need to use placeholder right and what i'll do so now two parameters we have right so this prepare statement has a two placeholder this you need to set values for this two placeholder so first placeholder sorry so first we have a ps uh, first from left you can't first is email right so let's set value for the email and employee dot uh, not employee but new email is coming directly from the client so this you can substitute over here and second ps dot set int because set int integer right and index of this is 2 and here employee ID we are getting from the client right so that's it I would say employee email is updated this message I want to prompt on the console so let's call this method this is almost done now let's call this method from the client program so here is my client program and here I'll go I'll comment this calling part and here uh, I have instance of employee top so employee top dot update employee ID so new email ID I would like to update email for let's say for Sam so current email ID whose ID is 4 so Sam email address I want to update so currently his email address is like this now I would say 2014 I would like to update his email id is 4 so let's try to run it saying that uh, employee uh, sorry message is little employee email is updated I was supposed to print so let's correct this message employee email is correct but anyway application should happen on the database side so look at, look at here so employee sam.cs2014 at the rate gmail.com so it's updated successfully so this api is perfectly fine now uh, delete operation is there so let's see how to perform delete operation so delete is almost similar to update right so i'll copy this code and paste it over here and only thing is that here you will have to change the queries the sql query so i would say delete from uh, employee underscore table right so uh, that query already I had written right here so no problem so delete uh, from employee table where id equal to question mark and you need to specify the value for only one placeholder and whose index is one right so this id you are so i would say employee is deleted with sorry with id and you can print the id as well this is coming from the client right so let's try to test it out and see what what output we are getting right so now i'm going to comment this calling part and call this method so delete employee by id and id i'm going to pass six that is nothing but john and if i run it 
as saying employee is deleted with ID 6. If we go and refresh then employee ID with 6 is deleted. Great, so it's working fine. Now last but not the least we have pinned something is pending. It's called get employee. Uh, that is get uh, all employees info, right? So now I would say EMP list. Okay, and here I'm gonna use uh, Java 8 to iterate this. You can use uh, in uh, enhanced for loop or you can even use iterator, but I'm going to use Java 8 so to iterate this. So system dot out and double colon print event. So it's a this is a method which is added in the Java 8 which takes object of consumer. So I have posted a lot of Java 8 videos. So if you do not understand how this for each loop works internally then please refer my java 8 videos and so i can refactor this code as well so extract i say get all employees info and only we will have to call from here right and this is making call to the dollar and dollar implementation is still pending so what I will do, so I have already written API, this API, get employee by ID, so I will copy and paste it over here, so code could be very much similar. So here we have faced employee information for single employee, but now I need to face for the uh, information about the all employees. So here you need to declare a list first of all, so I will create a, oh sorry, list or you can take any collection so here I'm going to take list EMP uh, list and here I would say you can take any implementer of array uh, list so I'm going to take array list array list which I have just instantiated okay and here And here query you need to modify so here you want to uh, face the in information about all employees so select a star from employee now here instead of if loop we have to use while loop so that <coughs> this will as long as a record will be in the result set this will give you the true and iteration will happen and here I will say employee we have created employee information fetching data from the result set and put in the model class and this model class uh, we are adding into the emp list so yeah, sorry emp list will add this all ret retrieved uh, employee object from the database right and finally this list is going to return to the caller right so here you can return this list Pretty straightforward. Now let's go to the client program and call it call this method. So I go to here and I'm gonna call this method. Let me run and show you. So here you can see I faced all three employees with ID one, three, and four. If you go to the database, ID one, three, four. So this is getting faced from the database. So I hope you understood how it how we can perform CRUD operation using uh, prepared statement right and prepared statement always supports you to write a dynamic query instead of hard coded SQL and performance of prepared statement is of course better than uh, a statement because prepared statement always uh, uh, cache the query right so if you look into the query right only in this query only see only this parameter is gonna change but these things is always constant right so basically this is getting cached on the database side and only this uh, placeholder is getting substituted so uh, that's why prepare statement is considered as a faster than a statement so that's all in this video tutorial so in this video tutorial and previous video tutorial we have seen how to perform CRUD operation using prepare statement thanks for watching this video and this code I'm going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description so see you next video tutorial thanks